pinning day, there's a sense of expectation in the gym on Naval Station Everett. The families and friends of the Chief Selects are here to show their support. They are the rock, the foundation on which these sailors have built their careers. into our CPO mess. Throughout this induction process, we have tested you, and you have passed the initial test. And I say initial because your training doesn't stop today. With the anchors comes more accountability and more responsibility. Ask the Chief is now you. Our guiding principles demand strong deck plate leadership, and loyalty to the chain of command and to your chief's mess. Mission first, sailors always, is your charge. My finish line would be just making it to the penny ceremony and knowing that I, I made it through this whole process and getting pinned is going to be a huge accomplishment. I mean, there's days where, I don't know, you doubt yourself sometimes. And, I know I do sometimes, but um, we just try to stay positive and push through it, so I just keep looking forward to that day. Request permission to enter the mess. being pinned by my wife and just knowing that all this hard work and dedication and overtime and stress and worries that you've gone through throughout the years and within these six weeks it's finally came to a final point and you got a day to be proud of yourself and enjoy your family and be happy for them being happy for you you know and just go from there knowing that you're going to take on the next challenge of dealing with your division now and ready to go for that. That's going to be uh, to look upon my division and being that I'm a chief. Not just saying that I'm the chief, I'm actually wearing the anchors here. It's, it's, it's something to be accomplished for me.
I would say my finish line is the day that we get pinned. Um, having my family there, um, to have my wife and my daughter put my anchors on for me that day. Um, it'll be fairly emotional, exciting. Um, and to know that also, I mean, the day we're getting pinned is me and my wife's anniversary, so we're gonna go out and celebrate afterwards as, as well. So it'll be kind of a double, double kind of celebration that night, it'll be awesome. Chief Lowendorf will be pinned by his wife Amber and son Jackson. Chief Cunningham will present his cousin. My finish line is going to be when my family's there, like the culmination of the sailors and, and uh, family members and friends that have supported me that are flying in from all over the country. That's a really big deal to me. Just to, I mean, I'm have a brand new, like two week old son walking up and my little family just coming together and showing support. I think that's, that's my finish line, and that's really what's important to me. So I'm excited about it. So what do the anchors represent? The found anchor is the emblem of the rate of a Chief Petty Officer of the United States Navy. Attached to the anchor is a length of chain and the letters U-S-N. The U stands for unity, which reminds us of our cooperation, maintaining harmony and continuity of purpose and action. The S stands for service, which reminds us of our service to our God, fellow man, and to our Navy. The N stands for navigation, which reminds us to keep ourselves on a true course so that we may walk upright with all mankind, but especially with our fellow chiefs. Congratulations and welcome to the mess. The new chiefs are welcomed into a second family. Break the tank! Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Jerry. Proud of you. I got my son Jackson, my wife Amber, my son Austin, my sister Andrea, my mom Trina, my dad Dave. Um, today I have my parents here and my friend Sarah. This is my oldest, this is uh, Lexi. She's uh, 10. This is my daughter Elizabeth, she's three. Um, she's kind of my middle miracle baby. She was born a little early, uh, a pound, little. pound four ounces, yeah. and she's uh, my thriving little miracle. So, and this is my wife Leslie. <laughs> my major cheerleader and my uh, biggest supporter. So I'm going to start off by thanking my wife for all her support. Um, and it, it takes a lot to put up with me. And um, she does it great, you know, deals with a lot of the issues I bring. She deals with a lot being a, I'm a geo bachelor, make sure a geo bash wife. And uh, we're hundreds of miles apart. She, she takes care of a lot of things. On board USS Nimitz, a new CPO 365 class has started. Some are returning first classes. Others are there for the first time. Good afternoon, I'm Chief Brown, uh, Hangar Bay Division V3. Uh, I'm hoping I can hear me, I can talk really loud. All right, a uh, CPO 365. Last year I went through it with a lot of you guys and uh, got selected. Went through the transition, joined the mess. 
everything that you learn in these manuals, these, these manuals are pretty much a pre-guide to you getting into the mess. These lessons are gonna come up again in your transition if you're selected. So please, take them serious. Learn what you can from them. Ask the questions. The boat crews are gonna help you out. Prepare yourselves. So do yourselves a favor and really get involved in this. This is really good stuff. You probably won't realize how much of a help it is until at the end. But I'm telling you firsthand, from just going through it, this program really works and it is gonna help you a lot. All right? That's all I got. Make sure you guys are taking that time for yourselves, PT. Stay within the standards because again, that falls from us down to the juniors and they see if we can't pass our PTs, they tend not to do so well themselves. Th this program helped out a lot. A lot of the information you're gonna learn here helps you when you get to the selection phase and uh, it does a lot for you. So please utilize it for what it's for. Ask the questions. Senior Williams, Senior Chief Hempel, they're always happy to, to help out anytime, any, any, any time of the day if you come to them for questions. It's going to be a good year. This is going to be a really good year for the first class mess for the USS Nimitz. You know, getting ready to go on deployment. Uh, a lot of new faces here. So with, with new faces, is always new change, new ideas. And that, you, sometimes you need new blood, and it really helps the command out.